Welcome back everyone. This is the uh, little Arboretum update thing for 2022. So if uh, you missed the video last year when I started this, I am uh, putting a collection of trees into uh, my property here. So with the house behind me as we walk down into this pasture, basically everything over here out to the road that's green at the bottom of all these pine trees is the, uh, the Arboretum space. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the trees that are in here, see how they're doing, and get a, a bunch more in here this year. So straight ahead of me is the walnut tree that I planted last year. That was a tree that we uh, took with us when we sold our last house. So that's the, I guess that's our more sentimental tree. It has a lot of meaning to us as it's uh, a reminder of where we got started and you know where we came from and, and whatnot. There's also a box elder tree over there, which we'll take a look at that I planted last year as well. Now I had a bunch of trees uh, in pots last year, and I know a lot of you said to get those in the ground before fall, but I didn't. <laughs> so they didn't make it. Um, so we're gonna have to try some more uh, trees that don't normally grow around here, but at least today, I'm gonna try and get some trees that normally do grow around here into the space so we're gonna go find some saplings in a little bit but the walnut tree uh, survived its very rude transplanting of being bare rooted <laughs> and brought here it uh, died back quite a bit but you can see it's definitely sprouting back up so today for this thing now that I know it's actually going to live uh, we're gonna do a little more permanent installation here so we'll get it pruned back get it into a grow tube and get all this grass back away from it so it can really start to thrive and come up. So that is the uh, the walnut tree there. The box elder tree is just down that way. Now, you know, box elder is kind of weedy, so it, uh, it really wants to be a bush. <laughs> but uh, we're going for, you know, trees and not bushes, so that's probably gonna need some pruning maybe next year. I might just leave it for now. I'm not really worried about this guy. I got a couple of those here. Uh, that's a box elder in there as well. So let's also take a quick look and see what trees are kind of in the surrounding area. Because although, I mean, some of these things are technically not in the arboretum per se, I'm not super worried about getting specimens if they're literally on the border. Now this tree right here, this is a, uh, this is a green ash. It was already here, uh, clearly. So it's uh, kind of fun. I got it paired in on top of this. Well, it was always here. So, <laughs> so this, uh, this kind of crest here, we got the tree that was here already and was established by uh, probably the previous owners of this house and the property. And then we got our uh, walnut tree over there. So it's kind of like this fun little, at the very tippy top of the topography here, the tree that was here and it's sort of the, the original area. And then the new people who moved here and put uh, a walnut tree in there. <laughs> so uh, one tree that I'm not really all that worried about getting a specimen of uh, is red pine. Because <laughs> literally all of this is red pine. Now one sort of caveat with that, with the uh, arboretum concept is having uh, specimens at different developmental stages of their existence. So I am fully set on a mature uh, red pine, but I do need a sapling somewhere to be able to show that. Now because I'm feeling lazy, I don't feel like walking around, we're gonna jump into this camera and use the zoom lens to take a look around. So along that hill there, boring the driveway again, those are all of the red pines. We have a significant number of those. And then as we pan down towards the road and the driveway, right about here, we have a white pine somewhere. There it is. That's a white pine. And then up behind it, there are a couple of uh, silver maples. So this tree here is silver maple, and so is that one there. So we have a few of those down by the road and some more red pine down there as well. So those are the trees that kind of border around here. The other few trees here up on top of here 
that is a, a, a hard maple, sugar maple, and uh, we have some kind of uh, spruce up in there. I think it's a blue spruce. So those just kind of border this area, but all of this all the way through here is all space that I plan to plant trees. So today we're going to go find some, uh, some trees to get in here. So we're going to see if we can find some uh, native trees that uh, normally grow here in Minnesota and I guess more specifically native trees that are already kind of growing and propagating here on the property somewhere or on a, a neighboring property dropping seeds over here. So we're going to go find some saplings and uh, get them dug up and into here. So I know for sure some of the more hardwood things we have around here, uh, we have bur oak, which is our more common uh, white oak around here. And I'd like to get a red oak. That would be a northern red around here. There's other species of red and white oaks or species that fall into the categories of red and white oaks. But I doubt I'm going to find anything other than a bur oak and a uh, northern red. Uh, but well, hopefully in the future we'll have some more and we'll get all the varieties here that'll survive a Minnesota winter. Uh, hard maple, we got, you know, coming off of there. Cherry, it's another one. <laughs> this is a big hill. Uh, <laughs> and maybe we can find an elm somewhere. I've seen a few of those speckled in in the woods. So we're going to take a little walk around here, look for seedlings, saplings, that have found their way into the garden or somewhere else so they don't belong anyway. And we'll get them out of here. And in some place, we actually want them. And this, while we're here, <laughs> this right here is my favorite tree on the whole property. That's a white pine, but the way it has like grown out and like the spread on the branches is so big and it's so fluffy it's just an absolutely majestic tree and I just love it. All right, let's go, uh, let's go hunting. This is probably gonna be way too big of a shovel for this, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. We will see. So lots of things coming up in here. Some stuff don't really want. We have a pretty big buckthorn problem here so that's buckthorn there there's a cherry tree there's going to be a lot of these so i'm going to try and find something that's a decent specimen this uh this could be it this is a co-dominant so there's two stems coming out of here but that is a black cherry tree so uh let's take this one and as i'm walking up here to get my shovel there's another one here next to this birch tree I doubt that's going to be particularly easy to get out of the ground, but uh, I think we'll just stick with that one down there. Now this one's been in here for a while, and it's been chopped up a whole bunch of times. So I don't, this is probably not going to be, well, maybe it might grow. I don't know. I pruned it already. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. I'm not super worried about cherry because uh, it's one of the more common trees that we have around here. So if these, if this one doesn't work out, there's a lot more. Here is a, uh, a bur oak that I, that I don't think I'd be able to get out of here. <laughs> it's right up in this uh, white pine. I, don't, I won't be able to get that one piece without killing it. And there's plenty more of those. Here's a red oak. We'll probably get that guy out of here. Let's take a quick walk down the driveway and see if we can find a thing over here, which shouldn't be growing here, that we want to uh, 
take with us. A little scouting. There's another box elder. I think I got enough of those. This is a much bigger cherry. It's kind of been mowed down so many times. It's more of a bush uh, right now. Most of the stuff you see here is buckthorn. You got a, a huge amount of that stuff here that I have uh, I've started to remove, but it's prolific. Like all the green stuff down here, all buckthorn. There's another cherry, kind of uh, bushy again. Another kind of bushy cherry back there. Another one down here. Here's a white pine. Another white pine. This one's been uh, grazed. There's another cherry. This one's not too bad. It would be kind of difficult to get that out of the ground right now, but it's less bushy than the other ones. Trying to find easy ones today. What do you think, Pancake? Oh, here's one. Here's a bur oak. So we got nice big old giant white oak type leaves with the rounded lobes. So that's a bur oak. And that might be one too. Although it looks kind of different. There's another one up there too. So maybe we'll get all these guys out of here and off the deer trail before they get grazed. Since I'm curious and we have uh, these magic phone things now. Let's see what the phone says. Swamp white oak. Right, there you go. So we got two species of, uh, or two varieties of white oak, I guess, different species. This happened to be considered the same kind of thing. So swamp white oak and then a burr oak, which is the most common white oak around here. So we'll get these guys out of here. And we got some kind of elm here. So we'll get that out of here too. So I think that's probably it for stuff here along the driveway. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Here's a uh, nice looking red oak. So maybe we'll get that one out of here too. The other tree we have a lot of around here is uh, ash. So there is a, a ton of these guys literally everywhere. So I'm not too worried about getting that out of here. Only one of them is going to be able to come out, I think. Like here's some more ash. Lots of lots of ash. There's another big one. Big red oak. That looks kind of different though. No, oh, just a northern red with giant leaves. All right, let's get the wheelbarrow and add some trees to our pile. Them. Oh yeah, super easy. Fairly an inconvenience. All right, the bur oak and the swamp oak. Next. Oh, we got a couple of ash trees too. There you go. Two ash trees and a burr oak. Green ash, another green ash, burr oak. The cherry is down there. Buckthorn. Get that, get that out of here. <laughs> red oak. This is another red oak. And that's another uh, uh, swamp oak. 
I would like to find maybe like a hard maple or something. Something else maybe. What do we got up here? Anything good? What do you think, Pancake? You find anything good? I think that might be it for today and maybe this year. That's a pretty good chunk of trees to get planted. So uh, let's get back down to the Arboretum and actually get these things in the ground sooner than later. Yeah, I don't see anything else out here. What do you think? Oh! Hard maple. There we go. Tiny one. I'll get this guy and that'll be a... Uh, that'll do it. So I don't really have a whole plan for this. Uh, the only kind of planning I have thought of is to save the higher ground areas for uh, trees of importance. And that's more of a secondary to uh, trees that don't normally grow here. So they have a little more height and they get out of this cold valley. So that might help them survive the winter a little more. What are you doing? I can barely see you. So there is the uh, the first one. As you can see, it's got a uh, double leader situation here. Pancake. Seriously. <laughs> so we a little pruny prune here. Oop, get rid of that guy. Have a tube for it, and we'll come back with the stakes and get it in there after everything's in the ground. I'm gonna keep uh, keep going. So over here, we have that elm. There we go. That one's there. And over here, we have one of the red oaks, and we're going to choose the leader. Choose your leader. Let's go find uh, another area. Red Oak. Hard Maple. Ash. Ooh. Hot out. So all those trees are just planted beyond that ridge there. That's all kind of the lower area. This little valley here is sort of the medium area. And then up along on this ridge is the uh, the high area. So I'm gonna go back and I'll stake them and tube them later, and I'm out of breath. <laughs> uh, let's do this thing next. Let's pull the uh, 
fences back, prune it, get it in the tube and get this grass back away from it. So this thing has definitely come back quite a lot. We got a bunch of new shoots and then I think we're gonna get this guy here to be the new leader and uh, just continue on straight upward. So I'm gonna prune back this branch which died. This one which had died back will come off. So we're taking four shoots off. I didn't wanna take this off before. I wasn't sure how much of the overall branches or whatever would come back after the winter if they got grazed or my fence failed or you know something like that. So now the rest of it can go into the grow tube and that'll help it to continue to go straight up instead of bushing. So there is that guy in his tube, and I, I put the, the fence back around it just for some added, an added layer of protection. Uh, I don't the deer won't graze on it anymore, but you know, someone could drive into it with their mower. <laughs> or you know, their snowmobile or something. So this is a little extra bonus protection around here. So uh, we'll probably, we'll check in on this guy again next year, but I would, it wouldn't surprise me if it's peeking out the top of here next year. And with these tubes, you can either do one big tube from the get-go, like I did on the uh, box alder, or you can stack some smaller tubes as you go if you want. Uh, I like the kind of smaller tube style, so then you can actually watch a little better and see the trees come up out of their little tube thing. And we'll just walk along this ridge here and take a look at the, uh, the new trees that just went in. I got those all staked and tubed or almost all tubed. I need to get a few more, but they're at least staked, so I know where they are. So that is what, nine? Nine trees that are now in here? So we'll, we'll check in on those again next year and we'll see uh, how they're doing and hopefully, they, uh, hopefully they're pushing up past the top of those tubes by then. So that is the Arboretum as it is now. Uh, we'll see how it looks again next year. This is definitely an ongoing and evolving project. It's something fun that I thought would be fun to do. <laughs> at, least, at least for me, since I don't really have any hobbies. There you go. There's your once a year hobby thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop in here and get out of the wind. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the, uh, the Arboretum. I'm just generally kind of excited about the idea of having all these different trees here. Just planting trees is kind of fun and interesting because uh, this is the extent of the trees that I know. Once they're done, I chop them up <laughs> and dehydrate their bodies. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the Arboretum or anything back in the shop or whatever, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.